Hi YouTube. Um, Alright, this is going to be week 10. I'm not quite 10 weeks, but I have a busy week ahead of me and I'm probably not going to get to it. And I want to let you guys down again. Um, today I had my doctor's appointment. That's another reason why I'm um, going to be doing my vlogging um, a little sooner. That way everything is still fresh in my mind. Um, it wasn't really... I was really um, anticipating this doctor's appointment as it was my first real appointment and I thought they'd do all like you know the cool fun stuff and I get to know a little more about my baby um, let's see uh, first of all they took some blood work like six vials um, it wasn't too bad um, and then they measured me in like five centimeters right now my uter that's what my uterus is measuring and um, they tried to find the heartbeat and they couldn't find it so that was really disappointing um, he said nothing to be it's nothing to be worried about because he said I'm not even quite 10 weeks and he said 10 weeks is the minimum but if I remember correctly I heard my son's heartbeat at 8 weeks so I don't know um, but yeah, they couldn't find it. He like spent like, gosh, um, like, <laughs> I'm not even kidding you, 10 minutes trying to find the heartbeat. He was doing all this weird crazy stuff and he was like, I'm sorry, you know, it's just probably too soon. The baby's really small and I tried my best. So he didn't find it. I even brought my mother-in-law with me to, so she can hear her second grandbaby's heartbeat. And I feel really bad because we waited forever and there's a lot of people ahead of us and um we were in there for like two hours and she had such a busy day and she like took um a little bit out of her day to go and possibly hear the baby's heartbeat and we didn't get to so I felt really bad about that um let's see um my kitty <laughs> um Nothing too much this week. I still have low back pain. Um, oh, um, a few symptoms that I missed last week were that I have acne. Um, I'm urinating a lot more. Uh, I think I said that. But I have really bad acne. Um, and... <clears throat> I don't know. I think... Wait. I don't know. I think that's it. I don't know. But yeah, acne. Um, anything else new? Not really. I feel like I'm getting some of my energy back, which is good. Um, my doctor didn't prescribe me. I mean, oh my gosh, sorry. Uh, I always do this. I can't stop. Um, when my son's in bed. It's like midnight right now. So... Yeah, I'm pretty exhausted, and I didn't have, I haven't been taking naps in the middle of the day anymore, which I'm proud of myself. Oh my gosh, my cat is so annoying. She will rub on my hand for like ever. No. Oh my gosh, I have to like push her away. Um. Anyways, <sighs> I don't know. I don't think there's anything new this week, really. Um. Oh, another thing. I guess I went into the doctor's today you know and the nurse told me that I am she's like okay you're 10 weeks exactly today and she's like oh wait no you're 10 weeks tomorrow and it was the same nurse I saw when I first went in for like a conf pregnant pregnancy confirmation and um, she told me I would pretty much would have been due like oh my gosh my kitties <laughs> they're like I think they want fed but they're going to have to wait. I haven't feed them dinner yet because I've just been so busy today. Um, what was I saying? Okay, I've had three different due dates. Yeah, they're really close together, but I want to know what to tell people. I have June 9th, June 10th, and June 12th. Not the 11th, but three days. I told my doctor, I'm like, what is my due date? He's like, well, it says that you're in here for June 9th. And I'm like, okay. He's like, why does it really matter anyway? Babies aren't, like, born, um, 
on the exact due date. He's like, so it's only like three days apart. I'm like, yeah, I know, but I don't know what to tell people. So, uh, I don't know. Oh my gosh, my cats are being weird. Um, so yeah. Um... Oh, and another thing that really disappoints me is my doctor, like, will not do an ultrasound until 20 weeks. That kind of upsets me, because what if there's, like, anything wrong with the baby and they just don't know about it? That's like, you're going throughout, throughout your pregnancy for 20 weeks, and something could be going on. So, I know this sounds pretty bad, but I'm actually kind of wondering if I should make something up and go to the emergency room just so I can have an ultrasound like I need that peace of mind I told my doctor that he was like no you're fine blah 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 um we'll just do the 20 week scan but no I don't know I went to the emergency room with my son um because I was having cramping I was just really paranoid with my first pregnancy and um yeah they did an ultrasound at seven weeks and I saw him and everything so I would really would like to possibly have an ultrasound. I don't know, maybe I should choose a different OB. I like my OB though, but he just does some things that I don't like. I've been going to him since I was 15, so it would be kind of weird to switch. I've, I've seen two other people in the same practice, and I've always gone back to him, just because I feel more comfortable. But yeah, um, this is probably getting pretty long, so I'm going to go. And... I'll see you at week 11. Alright, see you guys. Oh wait, Billy shot. Oh yeah, and one more thing. I have gained so much weight. I've gained 8 pounds. And I'm only 10 weeks. What the heck? I've been craving um, bean burritos from Taco Bell, and those are full of calories. I like go up there like every day. Like last night, I went up there at two in the morning because I had to have it. Thank goodness they're open until three a.m. But yeah, that is my problem. Bean burritos from Taco Bell. So, all right. See you guys later.